This is a little extension to the previous video that we mentioned the high pressure sodium lamp did a comparison with low pressure uh, lamp and uh, discussed how the dark space and the D lines broadened with pressure. Uh, but we're going to try this experiment here where we have a high pressure sodium light and we're going to overdrive it and push the pressure even higher uh, and examine what happens to the, the band and how it broadens. To do that we have put some aluminium foil around this light to reflect the heat back in uh, and basically try and increase the temperature uh, in the arc and we're also overdriving it with a transformer. This is a a, a leak transformer which is capable of driving the, the voltage above mains voltage so it will keep the current constant and allow the lamp to be elevated well above the mains voltage. It can go up to almost 600 volts in this transformer. So we shall give this a go. I have put meters on but the light is actually so bright it swamps out some of the information on there. So the switch on the voltage and the ballast will be at maximum uh, which is 675 volts uh, currently uh, our mains input is showing at 245 here that's not enough to strike the uh, sodium light they normally use the igniters to do that but we can do that remotely and uh, it should now run up now instantly the loading has dropped the voltage right down to 20 volts and the lamp will start heating up as a normal high pressure sodium lamp so we'll let it heat up to normal operating and then revisit where we are. So it's at 400 volts across the lamp and we're consuming 225 watts. So fallen back slightly on the wattage, voltage is still climbing. And you can see it's really quite a, a bluish white now we've got. Voltage is at 415 volts. And then the uh, basically the lamp is now producing no yellow light so it's a sodium light there's no yellow light coming out of this it's absorbed the entire part of the yellow part of the spectrum we can't really run the lamp much higher than we did uh, without multiplying up these ballasts um, I'm going to try and run up the same like kind of current but with a, a, a microwave oven transformer but that won't run it up because the initial loads too high so we have to part run it up till it's warmed up on this and then restart it on here see what happens uh, it's a little bit unsafe but hey so restarted this lamp on our um, larger transformer okay it is actually increasing in brightness quite considerably still holding out Ah, the outer glass melted there. 